Hey, Frank. <laughs> it's your friend, Mr. Society. <laughs> I'd like to take this opportunity to say well done. Well done for being the poster boy for black non-swimmers. Culturally, we just don't see it as a priority. Hey, you, man. Is that what I think it is? Yo, hold on, G. The man is natural habitat. It's not in the water. It's, it's on land. I think if you ask a vast majority of black people, can you swim 500 yards, they'll look at you like you're from another planet. My hair, it's just, it shrinks up and frizzes. I don't even want to go swimming anymore. On Saturdays, we have this thing that goes swimming or horse riding. And I did pick swimming once, but then I nearly drowned. Why are you wearing that life jacket? It's ridiculous. Just learn to swim. Well, I can't swim. You can swim, so you're okay. <laughs> Whatever. Man can, swim. Man can swim. I did my utmost to avoid swimming. I'm not gonna learn to swim. What at this age with, with these heavy bones? You know what they say about black people? A lot of black people don't see it as a sport thing, so no, a lot of people wanna take parts in it. Because obviously black women is sometimes an issue to deal with their hair after swimming. I learned by myself, not through my parents, because my parents never pushed us to go swimming. I learned to swim because it was part of my curriculum in Barnet. It was not part of my curriculum in Tottenham. Make a film called Black and Swim. Soundtrack. My journey. My story. In a floating ring. Is it a cultural or physical thing? <laughs>